New evidence has us pointing a finger at an old villain. They say that there are no coincidences, and that's especially true when it comes to soaps. So as General Hospital began bringing up the name Olivia Jerome, we had to ask ourselves, aside from her loathing of Anna, what could her connection to Port Charles mean now? And then it hit us like a fish hook in the back, she's the killer. Related story General Hospital served up some great twists in the hook's identity, and teased us with the return of yet another crazy villain someone's, who, me, face, needs work. Credit, ABC screenshot follow the clues consider. Cyrus recently suggested that if Anna was moved to Pentonville, he wouldn't be able to protect her from her longtime nemesis, meaning that Olivia was no longer at Darcham. Considering the Mafia Donna's deep pockets and criminal ties, it isn't a stretch of the imagination to think that she could have a cell with a revolving door that would allow her to roam free now and again. And if Olivia was out and about, what would she do? Psycho as she is, she'd don a raincoat and start hooking people, and in particular, people tied to Sonny, the mobster responsible for the death of her brother, Julian. Hence, the near attack on Jocelyn, Brando's slaying and Diane's hacking. As for Ava, aside from being one of Sonny's many baby mamas, she's Olivia's least favorite sibling. Did somebody say last call? Credit, ABC screenshot an even scarier possibility on top of going around hooking people, the nut job could be making the rounds in search of, wait for it, her daughter. Olivia doesn't have a daughter, you might say. Does she? We suspect that she does, and it's none other than, again, wait for it, Esme. Wouldn't it explain a lot about Ryan's bad seed if she had rattling around in the body the tainted DNA of not one but two homicidal maniacs? Hell, were that the case, we could almost feel for the vixen. Almost. Is the coast clear? No? I'll just stay here then. Credit, ABC screenshot a happy ending. When the whole truth came out, even Ava might be able to muster up some compassion for Esme. Ava, after all, knows how manipulative Ryan can be. To add on top of that the reveal that the mother Esme had so wanted to meet was, a monster. That's Suix. With her own checkered past, Ava might decide to take Esme, carefully, under her wing, see if she can steer the troublemaker out of the corner into which she's painted herself. If Esme continues down the path she's on, Ava is well aware of where it will lead. One day, you're just stirring the pot, the next, you're killing Connie Falconeri in cold blood. Sorry, not traditional arm wrestling. Credit, ABC screenshot, not so fast. Of course, if Ava attempted to mentor Esme, that would not sit well with Trina, whose life Spencer's ex did such a bang-up job of ruining. So Ava would have to find a way to explain her change of heart toward Esme that doesn't diminish or disregard the havoc that she wrought on Trina. Good luck with that. As you ponder the possibility that Olivia has started fitting people with hooks instead of cement shoes, check out our rogues gallery of Port Charles's most fearsome made men and women in the below photo gallery.